Adelaide Oaks, isn't it? I received your owl. Yes, I'm Adelaide Oaks. Oh dear. You see, my uncle Roland is a metal trader who's quite well known in the goblin community. He normally sends me owls every week when he's on his business travels. In his last owl, he alluded to dealings with those radical goblins, Ranrock's loyalists. It's been ages since that owl and I'm worried. What with the troll attack on Hogsmeade and the rumours that goblins may have been involved, well, I'm fearing the worst. Should I be worried about my uncle, or am I overthinking this? Are you good? I think you're right to be concerned, Adelaide. Your uncle may be in trouble. You're much more understanding than Professor Weasley. She heard I was going to look for him and forbade me from leaving the grounds. She's convinced he can handle himself, but I can't concentrate on anything until I know he's all right. I... Uh, could you try to find out for me? From what I hear, you're almost as adventurous as Uncle Roland. Has your uncle traded with many goblins? Yes, for ages. Even speaks gobbledygook. But he only recently mentioned... Ranrock's lot. Insisting the galleons were worth the risk. He does it for me. Between robes and supplies, attending Hogwarts costs a fair sickle. And besides that, Uncle Roland has expensive taste. He's sacrificed so much for me over the years. I promised him that as soon as I finish Hogwarts, I shall be the one taking care of him. I got you. I'll try and look into it for you, Adelaide. Thank you. He's very thorough in his record keeping, notes all his trades in a journal, makes maps. In fact, in his last owl, he drew me a map of his next stop. He'd planned to set up camp north of here. I do hope you're able to find out where he is. Thank you again for any help you can provide. That's kind of far, ain't it? Hmm. Okay. We'll do it. Revelio. Could this be Mr. Oaks's campsite? Ranrock's loyalists, just ahead. Hmm, should I take them by... Revelia. Never anything interesting around here. Patience is key. See, okay, he's walking a different way. Oh, 
It's always my turn for patrol. Someone out there? Oh my. Got stuck on the end of the now, table. <laughs> to find out what happened here. Adelaide said that her uncle kept notes of his trades, maps. Perhaps these landmarks will lead me to him. Okay, so from this to way down there. Interesting. Mr. Oaks's trade journal. I should investigate. Revelio. Vince, what's down here? There's a lot of enemies, but I... Oh, they're up. Formation. That's the first landmark on this map. Now to find the crooked tree. Wait, what? What's she talking about? Oh my gosh. Press the wrong one. The crooked tree. What is she talking about? Oh, she talking the stop. Okay. A crooked tree, just as the map said. The crumbling tower shouldn't be far from here. It's right there. I think. Crumbling tower. The spot on the map should be directly south of here. Revelio. I hate when you try to pop up the broom, but it don't pop up. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased. What do we have here? I don't really care about the feats, to be honest. Oh. Brewing. Hmm. I may have more luck higher up in the keep. Yeah, they can't hear it. Hmm. Someone there. Revelio. Nobody wants to see me play stealthy anyways. You won't last long. Hmm.
Too bad. Why, that was the too bad it was only y'all two that saw that heard me steal the stuff that's here. Okay, I'm for Guild too. stuff I want it all I don't like the looks of that encampment there is a troll over there but I don't think he's a part of this this is the spot on the map I'd best have my wits about me These are potions. Mm. Rebellion. Okay, you can put it right here. Why am I always on the throne? The weight of my skills. Anything up here? Oh, that's gonna say. This looks like trouble. Okay, cool. Let's see. Two. I need powerful stuff. Need all the good stuff. <laughs> Prison make sometimes. Let's go inside. What will we find in here? We're gonna find the goods. All the goods. That's what we're gonna find. That is actually okay. 
press the wrong thing over here. <laughs> see, we got Drake's. I don't even know what this does. Uh, spell damage, all right. I like I use the stuff. I had like so many Drake's, I started using them. I was like, bro, let's just start using them. <laughs> Cause you could just sit there. You could make a bunch of, you could make a bunch of, uh, just pots. And, uh, um, come here, boy. Ranrock has fooled you all to your demise. Revenia. I hope that's a level one. Actually, it doesn't matter if it is a level two. We don't, need, we don't need to go that way exactly. We get luck. I oh, got lucky on that one. Rebellion. It looks as though Adelaide's instincts were spot on. That's it. I don't see a way to get to that, but I don't care at the same time. Thanks for the fight. Can't get up there for some reason. A boiler door. How to open it? Extra. Just 
check all that later. This must be Mr. Oaks's one. Perhaps now he can set himself free. Random explosion. Okay. What is this way? Come here. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. They got all of this. Hello? Mr. Oaks? Yes, I'm here. They've taken my wand. This cell has an enchanted lock. I have experience with these locks. I need my wand if I have any chance of opening it. Look for a boiler door. I've heard them speak of it. Fortunately, I've already found your wand, Mr. Oaks. Please, pass me my wand. 
Kun. I can't get out of this damn cell without it. It's my last hope. Please. You did it! I oh, found my wand and... Wait, you're a student? Oh, we must get you to safety immediately. It's dangerous. It's all right, Mr. Oaks. I've dealt with these goblins before. Dear Merlin, you're either very lucky or very talented. Well, how did you find me? I'm a friend of Adelaide's. She was worried about your business with Ranrock's loyalists. Oh, she was right to be. I couldn't go through with the agreement, and when I told them, I ended up blindfolded and behind bars. Been locked in that infernal cell for so long, they'd forgot I was even there. I overheard things. If only I could reward you for what you've done. Blasting goblins stole every canut on me. All I can say is thank you, truly. What did you hear? You mentioned you overheard things. <sighs> Sad tale, really. I think I know where Ramrock's unfortunate vendetta against Wizardkind began. Although dragon breeding was outlawed by the Warlocks Convention of 1709, Ranrock stumbled upon an illegal dragon camp. He was young, found the creatures fascinating. He'd visit the camp in secret whenever he could, never making his presence known. After weeks of sly surveillance, he finally summoned the courage to speak to the wizard in charge. Ranrock wanted to join them and the creatures. The wizard happened to drop his wand. Ranrock saw an opportunity. He picked it up, went to hand it back as a, a means of introducing himself. The sight of a goblin with a wand sent the wizard into an instant rage. He beat Ranrock nearly to death. Ever since, Ranrock has despised wizard kind, sees us all as cruel. Am I right that you speak gobbledygook? Unbeknownst to Ramrock's fiends, I do. I've always had an affinity for goblin culture. Knew I wanted to be a metal trader ever since I was a lad. It wasn't easy learning the language. It's, it's complex, and my memory's as weak as my knees these days. But after decades working with fine goblin folk, I grew fairly proficient. At least, I'd like to think so. I'm grateful I was able to help you, Mr. Oaks. Adelaide thinks the world of you. Oh, and I her. She's become quite savvy to my trading habits, always analyzing my detailed owls. Oh, if only I hadn't resorted to trading with such fiends. A lesson I shan't soon forget. Having my wand back is like being reunited with an old friend. I must return home and inform Adelaide of my safety. Will you be all right? I'll be fine, Mr. Oaks. You get back to Adelaide. I assure you, her worries outweigh yours. Oh, I'm anxious to see my dear niece. And then I plan to travel far from here for my next round of trading. Thank you. May life reward you justly for your deeds. Be well, my friend. Mr. Oaks was lucky. Ranrock's lot would never have freed him. Was complete. Nice. Now on to the next one. Dude has a quest. Absolutely shameless. Pardon me, sir. Come to stare at the fool, have you? There's poor Egg Haggerty, robbed by his own sister. Ah, uh, she's robbed almost everyone now. So, who's the fool? I... I'm not sure I know what you're talking about. Then you're the only one who doesn't know about Catherine running off with that thief, Victor Rookwood and his lot. Good riddance, I said. Never thought she'd return a steal from me. But us, but I just know it was her. I want her caught and sent to Azkaban for stealing a prize family heirloom. Sister or no. I could keep an eye out for the thief, sir. You? Ugh. Nothing to be done by the likes of us. This is a job for the fine officer singer or some such authority. Besides, the thief, my sister, only strikes at night. Coward. Long past your bedtime. What do you have for sale? It looks as if the thief took more than they could carry. Revelio. Let it go. 
Bruh. She really out here taking and leaving. Leaving stuff. You can't leave it the stuff you take. That defeats the purpose of you taking the, the, the money. More gold. I must be getting closer. Any who oppose Renrock will be eliminated. Shut up. I will make Rebellion. you pay. You gonna make me pay? I should have this. I need to stop doing Revelio after I finish the fights. She be wanting to say something like, I cut her off because I'm going to see everything. Ooh, laceration. Or law of creation. I don't know what it said actually. Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. Revelio. She went in there, didn't she? This looks intriguing. I don't know. This is all different. This is actually, I don't know if she went in here. But I'm gonna go in here. That's different. That rock is different. Rebellia. Nope. <sighs> Sometimes I try to hop on the broom and it just don't work at all. She dropped this much? So, is this the other side? Rebellion. Oh, this is crazy. This is cool. Use the cube to like move, move, maneuver it. All right, let's continue. Rebellion. She dropped like a hundred.
Enjoy suffering, do you? We're close to a breakthrough. I can <laughs> Nothing up there. All right, so the money like went into this, into this area. Well, no, it didn't. Revelio. Look how much she must have dropped this on purpose, huh? <laughs> A Niffler. It wasn't Catherine Haggerty after all. Bro, I didn't even hold R2. <laughs> wow. That must be the Haggerty family Ellie. Revelia. Oh, it says capture the thief. Mm. Cool. Actually, I need a real so on. Come on, come here. Come on. I wonder how Mr. Haggerty will take this news. His sister wasn't the thief, and his heirloom's coming home. Cool. Must have snuck in after I fell asleep. I have some good news, Mr. Haggerty. I unmasked your thief. Nothing to unmask, was there? We all know that the thief was my sister, Catherine. Actually, sir, the thief was a Niffler. A what? You know, small, furry, pilfering. I followed it to its lair. Catelyn was the only one who knew how to get into our homes, where to find our treasures. But I suppose, mangy little blighter. Well, if you found the Niffler's lair, as you say, you must have found my heirloom. As a matter of fact, I did. Thank you. You don't know how much this means to me. Catherine's a disappointment for certain, but I never wanted to believe she was behind this. Now, thanks to you, I won't have to. What a strange world we live in. Suppose they can't send a Niffler to Azkaban. At least I've got my heirloom back. This looks like the statue Madam Twiddle mentioned. Revelio. That's a lot of those around. Why are there so many vases around here? Activated, huh? I didn't... I hate 
I hate that it, that destroyed it. <laughs> No? Suppose I should try to find all the vases. Rebellion. That's all we're doing, huh? I'm nearly finished. Only one more vase. Revelio. I should tell Madame Twiddle about what happened. That or Arena? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. I didn't see a second one pop up, but all right. But sometimes you just can't dodge, I guess. No, I press circle.
I hate um this this power is cool, but and everything they still let that binder get me wait what Care about your level, boy? Your level don't mean nothing to me, bro. I dodged, but like for some reason, she kept hitting. <laughs> Against him, I can't use Incendio. Yeah. 
don't know if I want to continue doing this, to be honest. I want to use my stuff because we, we can't collect anything, so might as well use my stuff. Oh my god, I couldn't even see him. certain people like you can't you can't even aim at them you gotta like literally aim a specific way just to hit certain people aiming at that goblin and then he just said nah I'm good I'm gonna aim at the troll like dude thank you so many so many people that's trying to hit me that's why for this. Oh, 
There we go. For the fight. I should think they felt that in London. Victory, boys. I had to use what? Nine potions? No, eight. Eight potions? That's cool. That was very challenging. Well, I wouldn't say very. It was challenging. It's too many like directions of things coming from. <laughs> Hello. Mrs. Twiddle, your husband was right. The statue was part of a puzzle. Oh, really? How exciting! Yes, I had to destroy a number of large vases, and that seemed to activate some sort of charm on the statue. Well done! Oh, I miss having someone like you around with a thirst for knowledge and a quick mind. Well, my curiosity has been satisfied. Thank you for that. Who knows what I'll encounter on my next constitutional. Oh, my husband would be so pleased to know he was right about that statue. Nice. Ah, Upper Hogsfield. Now, where to find Mrs. Sprottle? Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Nice to see you again, Mrs. Sprottle. Actually, Serona Ryan asked if I'd come and see you. Oh! Dear Serona, a gem has been for as long as I've known her. She thought you might need help collecting ingredients for your Wiganweld potion. And she's correct. My darling Aiden used to collect hawk lumps for me. Since he died, my supply has dwindled. I'm sorry for your loss, Mrs. Sprottle. Oh, thank you. Love of my life. A bit lost without him. If you wouldn't mind gathering some hawk lumps for me, I'd be happy to compensate you for your time. <laughs> cool. Believe it or not, I have some with me. Oh, thank you. How wonderful. The traveling vendors will be thrilled to replenish their stock of Wigan Weld Potion. Serona also mentioned that Mr. Sprottle was bringing her a box of letters when he fell ill. Indeed he was. I'd almost forgotten. I stumbled upon it just before Aiden died. He was hoping to go through it with Serona over a butterbeer or two. Uh, those two were always like two bow truckles in a branch. Aiden took ill when he was collecting hawk clumps on his way to see her. He made it home, but I fear he dropped the box in the cavern. The cavern is in the hills, just southwest of our hamlet. You can gather hawk clumps and collect the box of letters there. Nah. Thank you, Mrs. Sprottle. Thank you. I'll be here if you are able to collect those hawk clumps. I and the vendors I help would greatly appreciate it. Hope they know what they're doing. All right, we good, we good. It doesn't matter. You! What do you think? Clumps to Mrs. Sprottle, but I still need to visit the cave to find. Better have a look around, see about the hawk clumps and the box of letters. Confringo! Ah, that's all the hawk clumps for now. Mrs. Sprottle should be pleased. 
Rebellion. What the? This was Guess not. That's the way to go. Rebellion. Either I'll have to fight that troll. been the same level but don't matter For your items, boy. Rebellion. There's so many of these. I got it. I just gotta collect. I don't wanna go that way, man, to be honest. I wanna explore, but I don't know if I wanna continue exploring right now. Like, let me get what's in here first. <laughs> oh. Okay. That's a lot to read, too. Must be Serona's box of letters. I should take this box of letters to Serona. She'll be glad to have it back. I think that's everything. Serona will be glad to have this back. For the bidden, for wish. Can't doesn't get any more cozy than Hogsmeade. Serona, are we back? Hello, Serona. I have good news. I was able to provide your friend Mrs. Sprottle with some hawk clumps for her Wiganweld potion, and I found your box of letters. Oh, thank you. I knew you were the one to ask. 
I'm glad I could be of help. Mrs. Sprottle sends her best. Don't know what I'd have done without her and Aiden. Thank you, again, for helping her. And for returning this box of letters. It's nice to reflect on good memories. That's sweet. Off on another adventure, are we? And your reading is the dragon. That's exciting, I suppose. Perhaps you're due for an adventure. Ladies, Professor Shah, astronomy is not divination. You won't find the mysteries of the cosmos charted out on your palms or at the bottom of your teacups. Alas, the heavens remain hazy to the starry-eyed. Now, if you were to devote yourselves to persistent and painstaking observation, you just might catch a glimpse. With that in mind, please take your telescopes. Tonight, we will be on the observation deck. Still don't have your own? You can't be the new student forever, you know. You can share with Mr. Takar. Here, I can adjust that for no, you. No, no, bring it into focus on your own. Oh, this is, oh, this is what? This is dope. Telescope in a game? Now, I expect all of you to put in your stargazing hours outside of class. Is that clear? But, Professor, it's freezing out. Mere cold didn't stop the great stargazers of the past. Look only to the astronomy tables they erected throughout the highlands from which they gazed millennia ago on the very selfsame stars above us. Is that clear? <sighs> Dismissed. Like how everybody's shaking, trembling. It's cold. <laughs> Hello. I don't believe we've met officially. I'm Amit. I'm something of an astronomy buff. Hello, Amit. It's nice to meet you. Did I hear Professor Shaw say that you don't have your own telescope? I have a spare one you could borrow for the rest of term. <laughs> That's very kind of you, Emmett. Are you sure you won't need it? I'm certain. It's my old one. I finally got my hands on the new Celestia Contemplor. You've heard of it, I assume? I mean, of course you have. It's only the pinnacle of all personal stargazing implements. But my old model's not too shabby either. Goblin cut glass, first rate optical enchantments. Hate to think such a fine instrument is just collecting dust. Well, uh, I. Thank you, Amit. Think nothing of it. Anyway, the telescope's in the storage room right underneath us. You can't miss it. I have some, uh, reading to finish on the lower deck. Come find me there afterwards and bring the telescope. There's something I want to talk to you about. I tried to put off my stargazing as long as I could. All of good that did. How am I supposed to find Sirius when my hands are too cold to use a telescope? Confringo! This was his old telescope. Looks practically brand new. That dude takes care of his stuff. That's what that ah, says. A pristine night for stargazing. Do not let it be wasted. Professor Shah, I'm interested in learning more about astronomy. It is increasingly rare to find a student who seeks after things celestial of their own accord. But if you truly desire to chart the courses of the cosmos, you must rid your mind of the terrestrial babble of others. 
We ourselves are not unlike blank star charts, you know? Empty canvases waiting to be inscribed with all that the universe has to offer. Do you understand? Am I right in thinking you are unimpressed by divination? Of the many other so-called disciplines taught here, divination is perhaps the most feeble, especially in its nonsensical practice of astrology. Do not confuse astronomy and astrology. One is concerned with mysteries stellar and lunar, the other is mere lunacy. You mentioned astronomy tables earlier in class. What were you talking about? Long ago, devotees of the astral arts set up stone slabs across the countryside. They are ideal for studying constellations near and far. For centuries, wizards made use of these astronomy tables for stargazing. Sadly, they have since become mere monuments to the intrepid intellectual pursuits of a bygone epoch. Thank you, Professor. I look forward to stargazing. I am glad to hear it. Should be a stellar night for it. The perfect night for... Oh, hello again. I have the telescope. It's nicer than I had expected. I would not offer a prospective stargazer a third-rate lunoscope. <laughs> But there is, um, something else. Yes? What is it? You remember those astronomy tables Shaw was going on about? It just so happens I've been reading up on them a little myself. And it seems there may be one right here at Hogwarts. I believe we could use it to find hidden constellations. And you need someone to help you find it. I do. Are you in? No one from the Gobstones Club will go with me. Said they'd rather get spit at by a stone than... Well, they are cowards. Let us get moving while the stars are still out. I'll show you how to use that telescope once we get there. I promise. Oh, no need to convince me. Let's get going. Brilliant. You won't regret it. Shall we? The table is on a castle wall ahead. Look for a stone platform, something that doesn't quite belong. We'll know it when we see it. Onwards we go. Some say the locations of the tables were originally marked by centaurs for ritual stargazing. Maybe he's just randomly cutting off their commissary. Uh, it is nice having a fellow stargazer to explore with. Happy to be here. It is good to leave the classroom now and then. It's not that creepy out here at night, is it? The Gobstones Club are cowards. Here I am, charging ahead. Uh, why don't you lead the way? Bruh. If you're sure. You went from here I am charging ahead to a lethal way. Hmm. A little foreboding. A few cobwebs. Nothing to be concerned about. Oh, of course. Rebellion. It's just not as tidy as I expected. Weird. Lumos. Lumos! Oh, if I use it's Lumos, it uses it. More cobwebs. You don't think any spiders might be lurking about? Oh, no. Not this close to the school, Emmett. Look, there's a table. How I think do you this? should do the honors. Go on, try it out. Oh, you needed a telescope this whole time for it. Interesting. The constellation should appear near the center of your view. What the heck? As soon as you've lined up the telescope, we will be able to fill out our star chart. Oh, you could turn it. <laughs> I was like, bruh, how you turn this? This is gonna be interesting, ain't it? Let me see. 
obviously the big one is Dope. I was right about the tables. They really are gateways to the far stars, just as the book said. And your contribution was invaluable. Rest assured, you shall be credited in my memoirs one day. Your memoirs. Okay. Whatever you say, Emmett. Whatever you say. <laughs> oh, you wait. You are going to be quoted saying just that. This is only the beginning. You will find more tables like this one throughout the grounds and forest, all beckoning to be discovered by a worthy astronomer. And if I have ever seen one, it's you. Oh, and about my old telescope. Don't bother returning it. You should keep it. That's quite generous. Thank you. You are welcome. It has goblin-cut glass and a gobbledygook inscription. I'm practically fluent in gobbledygook, you know. It's all in the throat, really, gobbledygook, you know, and, and how you pronounce your R's. Ahem. Anyway, glad our adventure was a success. I will see you soon. Revenia. Ah, never do get tired of seeing the astronomy tower at night. What a view. Let me activate this real quick. Oh, you can go in here. Rebellion. About to level up soon. I'd sink like a stone. Going for a swim. Goodness, no. Though I'm beginning to think I really should learn how to swim. Can't very well be liaison to the mer people if I don't know how to swim. You're a liaison to the mer people? Well, not technically, no. At least not yet. The position doesn't actually exist at the moment, but I have a plan to change that. I'm Nerida, by the way. Nerida Roberts. We didn't officially meet, but we jeweled in the Crossed Wands Club. <laughs> yes, of course. Good to see you again. And you. You seem quite interested in mer people. I am. And they're as misunderstood and disregarded by wizard kind as goblins and centaurs are. I feel that if goblins and centaurs have liaison officers at the ministry, then the mer people should have one too. I'm impressed. I think reaching out to the mer people is a grand idea. You do? Oh, thank you. Of course, I haven't exactly done anything just yet. I presented them with a gift a few weeks ago, and they wanted to leave me one as well, in one of their caves. Reciprocity and an offer to visit. I tried telling them I couldn't swim, but I'm afraid that bit got lost in translation. Mermish really is tricky. Well, I can swim and could help you if you'd like. You'd really do that? Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. The last thing I want is for them to think I shunned their gift. Diplomacy is a delicate dance. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think you can dive down to their cave from just there in the water. I can't wait to hear about what you find. One day soon, I'll see for myself. I just know it. So another underwater adventure. Well, not underwater. It's just wants me to now? swim over there. I don't know if I want to do that. Cause you can't fight when you're in the water. <laughs> Maybe I'll do it later when I build up the courage to just get in the water and swim. I take it you're Alexandra's friend? That's interesting. It said level 25. Whatever, I don't care. We 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 fought a level 31, right? 
That was a level three. It don't matter what the level was. That man took two of them. Two blasts. All right, so what are we going to use? I wish this worked. This don't work. This is Dell's damage. the button they did not let me block This is why I don't dodge that one. She was trying to train it. That's what that was, I guess. Everything else is good. I hope you avoided my troll. Avoid it. We've been fighting trolls the past few. <laughs> missions it's done alexandra i took care of him my troll what oh i don't know what to say thank you i wish things could have turned out differently for him yeah i wish to but there wasn't much he could have done he was beyond training tried to kill me the entire time goodness i'm glad you're all right you're very brave People in the hamlet had already crafted a moniker for whoever eventually defeated my, I mean, that troll. It was troll something or other. I don't know. Vanquisher? Yes, that was it. I suppose it's your title now. I need some time on my own. But truly, 
Thank you for what you did. The Troll Vanquisher. Suppose I did earn the title. Revelio.